Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. On this Monday, June 29th, the day when the church remembers the apostles St. Peter and St. Paul. So glad you could join me for evening prayer this evening. I invite you to follow along our service in a Book of Common Prayer. Service begins on page 115. If you don't happen to have a Book of Common Prayer available, please click on the link in the description, bcponline.org. It's a wonderful resource and way to follow along our service this evening. Or you can simply sit back and allow the prayers to speak to you wherever you may be. And now, as we begin our time in worship, let us pause for a few moments of holy silence. Seek him who made the Pleiades and Orion, and turns deep darkness into the morning, and darkens the day into the night, who calls for the waters of the sea, and pours them out upon the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. There are two psalms appointed for this evening. Psalm 97, which is found on page 726, and Psalm 138, which is found on page 793. Psalm 97 and Psalm 138. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitudes of isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for the true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretched forth your hand against the fury of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. The Lord will make good his purpose for me. O Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
A reading from the Gospel of John. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Stephen, blessed Peter, blessed Paul, and all your saints, and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. A collect for the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul. Almighty God, 
whose blessed apostles Peter and Paul glorified you by their martyrdom. Grant that your church, instructed by their teaching and example, and knit together in unity by your spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, which is Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A collect for peace. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. The prayer for mission. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section below. For our parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Leo, Rob, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Roberta, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Kathy, Nicholas, Danny, Rhody, Elizabeth. Darlene, Roy, Jerry, Sally, Ernie, Stephen, and Joe. For those we name with our lips or in our hearts, for those we will name in the comment section below, and for those who have asked our prayers but we cannot recall at this time, O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories, <clears throat> that put them in danger with little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger, and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this evening with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.
and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I invite you all to join me again tomorrow morning at 8.30 for morning prayer. I wish you all a blessed evening. God's peace be with you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen.